All right, what I want to do with you guys today is graph actual points. You guys know how to graph angles on the polar grid. Now I want to graph actual points on there. Uh, before I do, just a reminder, and I know this is not in your notes, but this is what you guys have been doing your whole life is graphing points on this type of graph. And I want you guys to start getting the vocabulary down too, because I'm going to refer to your old school graph as a rectangular graph. You're going to start hearing that word a lot, rectangular grid. grid. All right, that's what you guys have been graphing on. So three, negative two, I go over three, down two, there it is. All right, that's not as easy to do on the polar grid because I can't go over, up, and down here. I got all these darn circles to deal with, okay? So when you have a polar grid, what you'll see is instead of X and Y, you're going to see R and theta, all right? So instead of X and Y, you'll see R and theta. Theta is what you're already familiar with. That's the angle. You guys graphed a ton of those already for me over the last two days. Misstep there, Bassett? No, I didn't mean to raise my hand. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. All right, we're good. All right, so theta is your angle, and then there'll be a number in here for R. Now this is the new stuff. What's in for R? That's the distance away from the pole. And that just brings up a new question. So the distance away from the pole. That question now is what the heck's the pole? All right, what the heck is the pole? Uh, well, let me put it this way. It is very similar to, do you guys remember the point where the X and the Y axes meet? This, not zero, zero, what do we actually call that? It's got a special name. Origin, right? Well, the center point on a polar grid, that's the pole. All right, that center point right there, that's called the pole. So whatever number I have in for R, that'll be the distance away from that center point, the pole. All right, and you guys are going to find out this is going to be pretty easy for you. I hope. All right, you ready to graph your first point on the polar grid? Three comma pi over four. So the first thing I need your help with is where's pi over four? You guys remind me. If, oh yeah, by the way, uh, in about two minutes, we're gonna head outside and uh, go over on the Van Dyke side of the sidewalk. All right, you guys at home, just FYI, we're having a fire drill here at school. So uh, we're gonna have to probably take a solid five, seven minute break here. Okay, in about another minute. All right, we all get together and then we gotta leave. All right, so pi over four. Anybody want to remind me what I go by in radians on the grid? 12. 12, pi over 12. So what am I going to have to multiply pi over four by? Three. Three, right? So can you guys help me find three pi over 12? And graph that angle for me. Three pi over 12. Make sure you go counterclockwise. So let's see, one, two, right here, three. Here's three pi over 12. So go ahead, graph that angle for me. Now, where's the actual point that I need to graph? It is, now go to your R value, three units away from the pole on three pi over two. So everyone start at the pole and count one circle, two circles, three circles. There it is right there, three circles, a distance of three units away. Okay. All right. You guys at home, uh, we'll be back in about five minutes. All right. Just relax. I'll mute it so you don't have to hear that sound. Take a left, guys, all the way out to the van back side. Thanks.
The drill is complete. You may re-enter the building. Thank you. All right, let's get back. Come on, let's go. Get back, get back, get back. Let's get back to the notes. Here we go. All right, uh, and I just left it recording, too. Oh, well, uh, somebody can fast forward. Are you still muted? No, I don't think so. No, we're good. All right, so we're gonna plot again, just to review this one. Three was my R value, so I went three units away from the pole and there's my point. Now, take a look at my graph here. I graph the angle. The angle is not needed when you graph a point. Again, the angle is not needed when you graph a point, just the point is needed. I just think it helps me teach you guys a little bit better if you see where the angle and where the point goes on the angle. So I'm gonna keep drawing the angle all today. You do not need the angle to graph points, all right? Okay, moving on, number two. Uh, I need to find where 135 degrees are. Uh, all right, so you guys told me uh, I went by pi over 12 in radians, what's it go by in degrees? 15 degrees, right? Every little marking is 15 degrees, so everyone go ahead and find 135 degrees. So we know 90's up top. 180 over here, so it's got to be somewhere in between going by 15s. Uh, let's see, 105, 120. All right, here's 135. And again, I'm going to keep drawing the angle out just so you guys can see exactly where I'm putting this point. No rotational arrow needed here. I'm asked to graph the point, not the angle. And then notice the, uh, the R value now is 2. So I go 2 units away from the pole, and there it is. Two, 135. So it's not that bad. Anything from you guys at home here in class? We all good? Okay, now we do come to something slightly different. So as we go, everyone ready? Go into number letter C here. What's different about C? Negative. negative R value, and that will make a difference now. When the R value is negative, we do have to do something different. But all right, let's find out where 3 pi over 2 is. What do I need to multiply by here? 6, six good. So multiply top and bottom by 6, I get 18 pi over 12. So everyone find where 18 is. Make sure you're going counterclockwise, please. And remember, there's 24 total, so if you ever want to work backwards, you can. 
So it looks like 18 pi over 12 is going to be right here at the bottom. Still going to graph it. Just helps me out seeing this. And now you're doing an R value of negative three. Ready? Negative three. If the R value is negative, I will not graph on where 18 pi over 12 is. What I'll actually do is go opposite, 180 degrees opposite, and graph three. All right, so I won't graph here. What I'll do instead is go 180 degrees, so directly opposite that angle, and graph three on there. Okay, so when your R value is negative, you go 180 degrees directly opposite and graph your R value, one, two, three. So here's the point, negative three, three pi over two. That's only when your R value is negative. I wanna go on the opposite side and graph it. Any questions from home? Are we all set? You guys okay? All right, last one here we'll graph. Now both are negative. All right, no big deal. We've handled negative degree uh, radians before. What do you want me to multiply by here? Three. Three? Three. Yep. Remember, it's positive three, so it's gonna be negative three pi over 12. What direction should I be going in now? Clockwise, clockwise, yeah. You gotta go clockwise because it's negative. See, a couple new things to remember here. So one, two, three, here it is right here. Negative three pi over 12. Again, you want to graph the angle, go ahead if you don't. That's fine too, so there it is. Now the R value is negative, so I'm not gonna graph on negative three pi over 12. I'm gonna go directly 180 degrees opposite and graph one. Oh, I hate doing this. I cannot see this. All right, so one, two, three, one, two, right here. How's that look? See how the one right above it? Is it? Yeah. God, I can't. You sure about that? Yeah. Right here? No, not one. No. No, I swear. No, it's where it's put in. No, I swear. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Right straight ahead. You okay. should make a nice. Yeah, and I did it straight ahead. I could swear it's only one. Okay, whatever. All right. And then you're just going one, so you're not going far. Right there. Everyone all right? Mm -hmm. So when the R value is negative, you go on the other side. Anybody at home questions? That was the first half of today, graphing points, degrees, radians, positive, negative. And here's the second half of today. So if you could right now, well, we'll do it together. Plot both of those points on this graph. So two points on one graph. Uh, all right, pi over three, what do you guys got for me? What do I got to multiply by? Four, yep, make it out of 12. Four pi over 12, yep. So make sure we find where that is. One, two, three, four, right here. I'm, I'm still gonna graph that angle in because I can't see for anything up here. And I'm gonna go to, that's positive two, so I'll stay right on there. So let's see, one, two. Stay positive too. We okay on that first point? Everyone ready for the next point? What do you guys want me to multiply four pi over three by? Still four, yep. So 16 pi over 12. So let's find out where that is. Where's 16 now? So that's, let's see, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. But the R value is negative, so what's gonna happen? I'm gonna go on the opposite side of 16 pi over 12 now and graph two. Negative two, all right, that's negative R, so I'll go on the opposite side of my angle and I'm hoping you guys notice something here.
What do you guys notice? The same spot. It should be the same. Those two represent the same point, don't they? On your grid, on your polar grid. You guys at home seeing that too. The same point right there. Both are the same point. So it is possible to have two different points, but same location on the grid. Okay, two different points, but the same location on the polar grid. Everyone at home, all right? Because now what we're going to do, go ahead to the next one. I'm going to give you a point, and I'm going to see how many ways you could rewrite it to stay in the same location. Stop with that, all right? It's been so tough today. Geez, yeah, I know. What have we done? Five minutes of notes and a fire drill. Wow. All we're missing is recess and nap time, all right? All right, so I have 7, 140. Name me other points that would stay in the same location as 7, 140. I'm going to help you guys out. So 7, 140. First thing we could do is let's go all the way around. Both directions. So what do I mean by that? Keep 7, positive 7. Keep it the same R value. But what am I going to do to 140? If I want to go all the way around in both directions. Add 360 or... Subtract it. So here's what I'm going to write. We can, If you want to keep the R value the same, you would add or subtract 360, plus or minus. All right? So add or subtract 360, keep the R value the same. All right? Now we get two points out of this. Ready? We get 7, comma, 140 plus 360. 500 degrees. That's not one of my choices. So let's keep going here. But that is the same. Seven 500 degrees would be in the same location as seven 140. And also in the same location would be seven. Now 140 minus 360. Oops, what am I doing there? 220. Negative. Negative. 220, yes. So we, we I see one choice up there. So that would be in the same location. All right, everyone good on that? Add and subtract 360. Well, what happens if I want to make the R value negative now? All right, negative. So let's say 7 turns into negative 7. What would I need to do to 140 now? Think about what we just did the last two graphs. We go on the opposite side, which would mean what? Add or subtract how many? 180. 180, yes. So if you want to change the sign on your R value, you take your degrees and add or subtract 180. Because that means you're going on the opposite side. So give me two more points that would still end up in the same location. Negative 70, if I add, was that 320? Negative 7, 320, which is a choice up above. Perfect. So here's another option. And then let's uh, subtract them. Negative 7, negative 40, which is also an option. So all three of these points we have circled would land in the same location as 7140. Now, hey, before I get to the last one, I'm showing you guys algebraically how to do this. If you want to throw it on the graph and go all the way around and keep adding 15s in both directions, you can. Okay, or if you want to go 180 in both directions, you can use the graph to do that as well. But I like doing it algebraically, it's a little quicker. Any questions here on how to find new points, but same location? Last thing, this was in degrees. How do I do it in radians? That's the last thing we got to do. Same exact thing, but now we're going to do it in radians. So 2, negative 3 pi over 4. Give me different points for the same location. So I'm going to keep 2, 2. All right, keep the R value the same. In the last problem... We added and subtracted 360 when we kept the R value the same. What's 360's equivalent in radians? 2 pi. 2 pi. So now I'm going to add and subtract 2 pi instead of 360. Keep the R value the same. Go all the way around in both directions.
Uh, you guys have done this already for me, this unit. Day one, you did this for me. Here you go. Ready? Negative 3 pi over 4. Let's add 2 pi first. What's my, you guys have done this. What's my common denominator? Four. I know I worked with a lot of you guys yesterday in class. Positive four. Keep your denominator positive. Positive four. Negative three pi stays the same. What are you going to have to multiply two pi by to match your common denominator? Four. Four. Yep. Multiply it by four. So it's going to be negative three pi plus eight pi. So negative 4 pi, uh, 5 pi, sorry, negative 5 pi over 4. So one of your points is going to be 2, negative 5 pi over 4. Five, one, um, it's not negative. Anybody going to catch me here? No, it's, I was it's positive. Say. Relax, relax. Positive 5 pi over 4. Uh, I think that's a choice. Yeah. We got to find all of them though. That could be possible choices. So now let's subtract two pi. Nothing's going to change here except the minus sign in between negative three pi and eight pi. There's just going to be a minus sign now. So now it's going to be minus eight pi over four. Negative 11 pi. So another point, same location, would be 2, negative 11 pi over 4. Not a choice up there, so no big deal, but it's still an option. I'll let you guys catch up here. You guys all right at home? Any issues? Okay, now that's what happens if I wanted to keep my R value the same. What if you wanted to change the sign on the R value now? Now I want to make it negative 2. When it's in degrees, I would add or subtract 180. All right. We haven't talked about this. Anybody remember 180 is equivalent in radians? Just pi. Correct. One. Pi. That's it. 180 is the same as pi in radians. That's it. Good work. force is strong here today. All right, so here we go. Negative 3 pi over 4. Uh, you want to add pi first? Sure. What's still my common denominator? 4. Now I just multiply pi by 4. So you get negative 3 pi plus four pi. So I get pi over four, one pi over four. So it looks like another point could be negative two pi over four. Is that a choice? Negative two, nope, not a choice. All right, let's keep going then. One more, one more point. Negative three pi over four minus pi. Now I'm just going to subtract the two. So minus four pi instead of plus. So the other angle, it could be negative seven pi over four. So negative two, negative seven pi over four, which I believe is a choice. Yep, choice four. So these two could be the same location as the original. All right, so again, bottom line, when you're keeping the R value the same, you add and subtract 360 or 2 pi. When you change the sign on the R value, you add and subtract 180 or 2 pi. Or pi. And that's it. That is it. Any questions, comments, concerns? Even with the fire drill, still stopping 13 minutes early. All right, assignment, day four assignment, going tomorrow. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow for it. Take care.